Before we begin, click subscribe to stay up to date with all of our newest video content. Imagine having the right product at the right time, at the right place. In distribution, this is the brass ring. Doing this while maintaining excess inventory and selling for a profit is the road to financial success. While it may be easy to imagine, it often takes a lot of practice and a little bit of voodoo to make it happen. No longer is it good enough just to have an accurate count of what's on hand. You need to know more about its composition. A lot more. Stock intended for projects or set aside for specific orders should be reflected in your system so the team knows it can't be used for filling regular orders. Goods just in for suppliers or RMAs need to undergo quality control reviews. They must be accounted for, but also excluded from quantities. Of to minimize spoilage, expiration dates must be tracked and used to streamline picking for perishable goods. Regulated goods often demand traceability from source to consumer to remain in compliance. Do you use an ABC method of classifying your stock? The Pareto principle definitely applies in inventory management. By analyzing your stock using this method, you can optimize your warehouse space and better identify what to buy and what to phase out. This isn't the only way to stratify stock. Looking at the sales velocity of stock helps you ensure that low cost, high volume items are always on hand. Think of a cell phone screensaver. We don't want to lose the sale of a $900 phone simply because we don't have a $5 screensaver in stock. By combining both the ABC and the high, medium, low approaches, we get a matrix view of demand and cost. A great discussion of this matrix approach is available from NetStock in an article on their resource website. You can read more here. Knowing what is moving is important, but it's also key to know when to buy. There are many different ways to manage reorder points, and your system should support many of them. It is also important to know how well you meet your customers' needs. Tracking order fill rates provides a great lagging indicator of what you're doing well and where you need to improve in stock availability. Your system should help you streamline operations by organizing your warehouse layout. High-value stock should be staged near packing areas to reduce transit during picking. Items that are usually sold together, like light fixtures and globes, should be stored close to one another, further improving pick time. Store slow moving and obsolete goods out of the way. Low volume, high cost items should be stored in secure locations to minimize inventory shrinkage. Once you know exactly what you have and where it is, it's time to get your arms around what you need. There are two ways to manage demand, by looking at the past or by forecasting the future. To look back, you need analysis tools to access history in detail by product, period, and customer. Be sure to exclude anomalies for things like special orders, lost customers, and other adjustments so that can skew your history. This approach is a great way to recognize seasonal trends and gain insight into what has been moving. A solid forecast is always preferred over historical analysis. However, bad forecasts are the leading cause of excess inventory. With combining your historical analysis and sales, projections become the basis for planning future sales. These numbers, when used by solid MRP tools, can drive your procurement process. Inventory costing is always a concern. There are many different cost methods and all are viable. There's no such thing as a one-size-fits-all approach. Average costing seems to be the easiest for non-cost accountants to understand. However, it does have limitations. FIFO and LIFO are often preferred by accountants as they can more accurately reflect a true replacement cost in inventory or in cost of sales. FIFO stands for first in, first out. Here, the ERP system keeps track of purchases or additions to inventory as cost layers. This method results in an inventory value more reflective of the current replacement cost. LIFO works much the same way, except it relieves the newest layer first. This produces a cost to sale most reflective of current replacement costs. Standard costing is most often attributed to manufacturing, while specific item costing is associated with lot tracking and serialized items. Managing stock levels is highly dependent upon how well you manage your relationships with suppliers. One way to ensure you receive goods when you expect is to know the lead time required for each vendor to process an order. 
It's important to track your vendor performance. This includes delivery date versus promise date, adjustments to promise dates, vendor order fill rates, and fulfillment accuracy dates. Tracking delivery performance is as important as supplier performance for exactly the same reasons. We've spent a lot of time talking about how to manage your inventory and what levers to use to keep your inventory right-sized. Many of these tips involve collecting data and analyzing it to find insights to improve your distribution business. Imagine having the data and analysis tools. You need to make this happen. Now imagine having access to that at any time and from any place. Well, you can stop imagining. Welcome to Acumatica. Was this video helpful? Click subscribe to see more videos like this one.